Hi. So in the previous section, we were able to return a string from a controller action. This was nice to get an idea of how controller work, but now we would like to build a real application. If we want to do that, we want to get a easily customized uh, HTML generated back to the browser who are using our website. So in order to do that, we, if we, when we create, first created our project here, it already made us a, an index method, about method, and contact method. And they all return a view. So if we went here to the home in the views folder, and we can find all, for each one of these methods, we, there, there is an HTML page named after it. So for index, there is an index CSS HTML. If we open it, this is the HTML for that, for that method that we are going to use. So if we go ahead and run the application and went to the home index page, so as you can see here, it went to our home index page. If we went into about, we will see the about page, contact. Yeah, the same thing. So if we went here to like contact here, we see the HTML for that page. And if we looked here, we see that for each one of these pages, there is a common layout. So the, as you can see here, there is a, a common uh, bar here and the footage and all of that is made in the shared layout. So if we went here, we're going to find a page uh, HTML here. This HTML is for the navigation bar, the, uh, foot, the footage, everything that's shared between all your the, web, the pages of your site. We put it here in the layout page in the shared folder. So now, in order to make a more interesting website, we need to pass information to our view template. So in the model view controller architecture, the term model refers to the object which represents the data in the application. Often, model objects correspond to tables in our database, but they don't have to. So now, let's create a model here for our category and for items within our store. So here, click Add Class, and for here, let's name it Category. And here, let's put a public a name for our category, like Electronics, for example. Get and set and do the same thing for the item class model model class actually yeah. item Click Add, and in here, let's put like a, a title, so let's call it String and Title, to get and set. and let's put a, um, the Category one, or a Public Category. To get from our category class the information it needs. But, all right, get and set. Yeah. Right. So now let's go to our store controller to add a little bit of code to the details so we can create our view for the details method. Action. Results, we are going to change the string to action result and change the message here into a view to make it return a view. Yeah. And here, let's just delete that. Bar item equals new item. Yeah, item 
So here title equals item plus ID. Yeah, seems right here. Yeah, it's not we let's just build this. So yeah, right. Let's well yeah, we have to include here a using statement to use uh chopping store dot models so it can see our model classes. Yeah. Seems about right. Let's just build this. Yeah, everything's okay, I guess. So let's create the view for the details here. The view. And let's choose view to be empty here and the model class to be album. Let's choose and the model class to be item. Yeah, item here. Uh, I think that's yeah. So as you can see here it's created for us the details uh, HTML page. So let's move it to view the uh, the items that we chose, so here like item, and let's make let's go to model the site. Yeah, you can see it quite well. Okay, that's nice. Let's build this. Let's run our application. Go into detail. Let's just put a parameter here so it can show us some entry for it. Because if you didn't if you didn't specify the number uh, or the ID, it would get us this page actually. What the fudge? A few moments later. That input for item equals new. And press like its title equals uh, add the item plus ID. Yeah, seems all right. And we also need to include a using statement here so it can use so it can see the um, model class that we use that we uh, created. So shopping, yeah. Models. Yep. Let's go ahead and put here also the item we chose. Yeah, seems alright. Let's build this. Yeah, seems fine. So let's go ahead and delay that and to make it view us a. Um, the name, the uh, the ID of the uh, items that we chose. So let's choose here, like put item and model. Oh, model and the title. We have to make it here, like model. Yeah, the title. Yeah, let's build this. Let's go ahead and run it. Let's specify here a, a an ID so it can show us the uh, the items that we chose. So as you can see here, it shows us like item item f number five. 